Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the adult version of being picked last in gym class? Being asked to take a group picture of the group that you had come with. Watching a bunch of co-workers leave the office to have lunch together. Or having none mention your birthday, when they celebrate everyone else's. Watching people plan an event in the same room as you but not inviting you. I worked with some guys who would make these awesome poker parties they went all out. One day they're planning one right in front of me and later in the day I run into the host who I guess felt bad so he said, hey man we're having a big poker party at my house this weekend and I wish I could invite you but we're maxed out. I was like WTF why even say anything? I mean was the a non-invite? WTF. He wanted to make sure you knew you weren't invited. Finding out your co-workers are all going out for drinks that you are not invited to. Later, you find out that the fun new guy who sucks at his job got picked over you for a mediocre promotion that you've been patiently waiting several years for. I had a co-worker get promoted over me. He couldn't do all the things the job required. They changed my job description to pick up all the tasks he couldn't do and told me they were counting on me to make sure everything got done right. Of course, he got the pay raise while mine stayed the same. I found another job right away. What are we going to do? Not my business. Best wishes. Remember, an office career is equal parts knowing how to look busy and knowing how to be a mirror to those around you. Not being in a group chat. Finding out there is a group chat you aren't part of. Found out my family is in a group chat a couple of years ago. Not surprised but also WTF. When the group chat goes silent after you suggest something. Oof that one hits home. Being invited to a party as an afterthought. Oh you wanted to come? I didn't think it would be your thing. But yeah I guess you can come if you want to. Or, hey a bunch of people we originally invited aren't able to make it. Are you free to join now that the get together is smaller than we thought it would be? Quote. Saying something in a group but getting ignored haha. It happens sometimes when multiple people are talking at the same time. But if it happens constantly and you feel like no one cares about your opinions. This is why I find social settings deeply, deeply exhausting. I'm always the one on high alert watching for the people that get talked over or not included because I don't want him to feel that way. But boy does it take a lot of energy to do it. I give up after two attempts. If I have to try three times I've stopped caring about trying to be heard. I volunteered to be a chaperone for a living history museum field trip. I think my son was in third grade. We lived in an area where most mothers were stay at home, or worked part time. I was a divorced mother, a nurse, and worked 40 plus hours a week. So I was excited to be able to volunteer for this. This place was a three hour drive. I drove myself, and my son rode the bus with the other kids. We got there and the teacher had split the kids into groups with three or four parents in each group. When our group got to the stables this woman says to me, since we all know each other we are going to go on our own and you and your son can explore together. I'm an adult. I am in charge of people's lives. But shit cut me to the core. The look on my son's face when I tried to explain where everyone went. I still smell the damn smell of horses and hay. I didn't hurt for myself, but my son. That he experienced this bullshit. It's been almost 20 years and still fucks me up. Wow. That's a toxic person. You should be glad you did not have to deal with them and the offspring they are raising. I'm sorry that happened. People can be so self-absorbed and rude. You can tell that lady didn't have a thing to worry about other than spending money and entertaining herself. Ugh. Your son is lucky to have a mother that worked hard to provide for him and also cared so much about attending his field trip. The fact that it still hurts you just shows what an amazing mother you are. Wow. She's a bitch. I feel bad for your son. Seeing everybody in the office return from a lunch outing you were never told about. And the even worse flip side. Arriving at the location for a group outing. And nobody else shows up because it was cancelled but nobody told you. Also bad when you accidentally go to the restaurant where the group is but you weren't. Invited. Didn't know and they notice you. That happened to me several times. I used to work shift work. 12 hours on, 12 off for 3 days at a time. Days and then switching to nights every 2 weeks. After the night shifts my work center, about 10 people, would go out to breakfast together. I didn't know about this for about 7 months. I only found out because I decided to treat myself to a nice breakfast one time and checked out. This breakfast, brunch place I'd heard about before going home for some sleep. I stopped for gas and then headed to the breakfast place. Got a seat at the bar top area. Heard some familiar voices after a bit and looked over to see all my co-workers halfway through. Their breakfast having a great time together. They didn't notice me until they all had to walk past me to pay. Total deer on the lights looks from all of them. Got told later that they didn't know if I would have wanted to go out with them. They never even asked. When I was in my early 20s I had a job in an office. Probably the worst office I've been in to date. And I've had plenty of office jobs. The environment was so catty. 
Eventually, I noticed they were keeping things from me, leaving me out of things. I got the impression that people were lying to me, or not being real with me. Listen, we all went through middle school, we know when we don't fit in. I wasn't dumb. The final straw was a company-wide event. And I found out that the reason why I wasn't informed is because my boss went great lengths to make sure I wasn't on the email list. She isolated me to my own space so that I wouldn't hear conversations about it. I heard about the event. The day of. By accident. My boss tried to come up with an excuse that it was just managers only. Come to find out this was a lie. I might not have been 100% at that job. But I never got any feedback on how to improve. Even still, I also don't see how that justified their behavior towards me. I've had shitty employees, but I never acted like this towards them. No one laughing at your joke and someone repeats it and everyone laughs. Yeah pretty hurt about it lol. Or even worse, when you repeat it and they say, we heard you the first time. This is my life. I don't go on Twitter, but a friend of mine uses it non-stop. Found out easily half his Twitter is him tweeting my jokes. He doesn't invite me places with friends and suddenly I know why. Dude would 100% get found out by his friends. H is 30. I basically just stopped sharing after I found out I was basically free content for him. You must be funny AF my dude, he's totally jealous. This reads like a plot to a modern day Seinfeld episode. <laughs> Bringing in some homemade treat for the office to share, and nobody eats it. Ah I've seen this happen to others. This is why I always take a piece and try to say something nice about the maker of the treat. Last time it happened, the guy made zucchini loaf. It wasn't the best but you could tell he took pride in making it. Or people take pieces and then you find them in the trash. That happened to a poor woman in our office who made these brownies. Made out of black beans and sugar, alternatives. Walking behind the group on the sidewalk because there's no room for you to be next to them. Right? Why have a group of four walking three and one? Because it's really a group of three and some other dude that's just there. Getting a wedding invite a week or two before the wedding day. At least you didn't get it a week or two after it. Or worse a week or two during it. This happened to me, but I felt sorrier for the bride than for myself. She was a high school classmate I barely remembered and had rarely interacted with. She must have gotten a lot of negative RSVPs to have dug up my address. Last resort friend because someone is bored and no one else will hang with them. Story of my life. Being well liked but never reached out to. If you don't keep up the effort, everyone just fades away. Story of my life. Same here. I had what I thought was a large friend group. And feel rather well liked in social situations. But I never get phones calls or texts. And I never ever get invited anywhere for anything. If I don't reach out to people I would never hear from anyone. Being invited to a social event but not really being completely welcome. Like, everyone is nice to you but it feels like it's out of obligation. I'm starting to feel this now that I am in my 30s. Always invited to the married, couples, friends, kids' birthdays events and I end up being the only single person there. I'm still busy with work and school so the only time I really get for a social event I end up just spending it with a bunch of couples wondering why I am still single. Even worse when a friend group is hesitant about having new people around. Yeah, that only gets worse unless you're really proactive about it. I used to have about seven to eight friends that I would host dinner parties for and by all accounts they were a hit and people really liked them. We'd all been friends for years and I kinda figured one of them would host, cook at some point. I was vocal about that too. And it just never happened. One day I decided to see if any of these people would even contact me if I wasn't the one reaching out. I haven't heard a word from any of them in five years lol. When you ask someone if they want to do something on a certain day and they go. Yes but I'll let you know if something else props up. As in, I will but only as a last resort in case someone even better wants to hang out. The old, let's play it by ear. Lol. No bitch, make the plans or don't. Every year, my father and stepmother host Christmas dinner. We all get assigned something. Appetizer, desert, sides, etc. I always get assigned cheese. I have never, in my entire life, enjoyed cheese. And I'm a pretty good cook. Nothing special. But just say and I could put something together. Every year, they give me fecking cheese. And they bring their own, so why bother even giving me cheese? Solution. Next year, make your own cheese. Being asked to bring napkins is worse. We don't trust you with food. No one gets napkins. My stepmom has fancy cloth ones. But it's not like I make the cheese, is it? So it's essentially as close to getting napkins as you can get without getting the napkins. Being ignored in a conversation. Being talked over in a conversation. Ironically your comment was already collapsed when I scrolled by. Made me chuckle. OMG I saw that too LMAO. What's really funny to me is this comment was automatically hidden tears of joy tears of joy tears of joy. Having your Tinder date leave the bar with someone else. The trash wastebasket took itself out. 
That's just incredibly rude on their part and not at all a normal thing to do. Basically you do something that everyone has a problem with for some reason and then someone else does the same thing and people are fine with it. Experienced this recently and I'm still pissed off about it. Oh, so it's okay for this person to do it, but not me. Okay, but then you're the bitch for calling him out. I get this all the time. In a group chat everyone wishing the respective birthday girl, happy birthday, and forgetting yours. Three years in a row. What if I fit like eight tenths of these in the past month? Maybe go friend recruiting. How the fuck do we find friends?